This past week, we also spotted this little tweet, basically a redirect to an article headlined, Michelle's War on Fat. You'll have to pry these french fries from my cold, dead hands. This is war. The tweet that led to that article comes from the Center for Consumer Freedom, which has a hit piece on Michelle Obama's obesity campaign right there on the front page of its own website. Center for Consumer Freedom, is that ringing a bell? Does that ring a bell for you, Center for Consumer Freedom? It's Rick Berman. Rick Berman, of course, the lobbyist slash PR guy who makes up fake nonprofit groups that promote stuff like tanning beds are good for you. And don't worry about mercury and fish. You can use that tuna to take your temperature one day. That's neat. Don't worry. Berman has also tried to sell the idea that upping the minimum wage is bad for people who make minimum wage somehow. He also hates the Humane Society. Yes, the Humane Society. Rick Berman's MO is to create fake citizen groups that are really just his PR firm and to make Muddy the Waters fake science to give the impression that maybe trans fats actually clean out your arteries. Also, secondhand smoke is delicious. Drunk driving, not that bad. And by the way, happy 30th birthday, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. May you be a thorn in Rick Berman's side for decades to come. If there were a corporation that benefited from people pounding their into their foreheads. Rick Berman would be the PR guy that that corporation hired to promote the healthiness of pounding nails into your forehead. Given what Rick Berman's MO is, you are forgiven if you thought of Rick Berman and his black is white, day is night, down the rabbit hole corporate PR strategy last week when you heard that the Corn Refiners Association was trying to change the name of high fructose corn syrup into instead corn sugar. Because corn sugar sounds delicious. Right on cue, Rick Berman joined in, pushing the let's call it corn sugar argument this week on the conservative website, The Daily Caller. And he's pushing it even though there's a different thing that already exists that's already called corn sugar. But why let facts get in the way of what your possibly shady, certainly undisclosed, most likely big agribusiness clients want? Another campaign Mr. Berman is working on now is sticking up for factory farmed chickens. After the recent giant salmonella outbreak attributed to eggs from chickens whose life conditions do not bear even the slightest weak stomached contemplation. Who is to say those battery cages do anybody any harm? When a slick for-profit opportunist like Rick Berman starts taking on the First Lady's nutrition campaign, honestly, it smells like money. But when Glenn Beck and a lot of the Fox News lineup accidentally or on purpose teams up with him, it's almost like you can feel them sending a little ping, a little test to see if they can get something started, maybe launch a new talking point for the election. Teaparty.frenchfrywar.us slash First Lady Tyranny. You can feel it coming, can't you?